Hey guys, welcome back to another Lynn's Hot Rod feature. Mark in the house for you. Let's get to the point. What are we looking at? What are we looking for? Fun! That's what we're looking for. We're looking for fun. All right, here's a little update. Um, been playing on the truck. The engine is primed. Main parts. Um, the other parts of the engine are here. I played with the radiator. I added some bare metal foil on it. As you can see, those two parts. The shiny parts. The other parts I painted the grill like the inside here. Um, silver and then I put a black wash on. But this is an old, so that's why it's like, but it, it's cool. I like the reflex on it. Um, the exterior is black. The interior trim is titanium metalizers. On the other side, the pan is um, gun metal, those metalizers, and I buffed it out. So it gives, gives it a nice little look. But anyways, this is small and inside the truck will even notice. Maybe better, but anyways. The uh, oses has been painted. Need to put the bare metal foil on the um, two little stripes on top here and on the black part. You see them two little stripes there. There we go. Them two little pins. Um, that's going to be bare metal foiled. Uh, on the rest of the engine, I had to shave down the inside. Where you see there's a, a ridge. I had to, uh, this was one piece, so it was the same size. I had to sand this down with a file to keep this part going. Because the other two parts are broken. So I need to figure out two other pulleys, which I'm trying to, but it'll get there. This is too big anyways. Um, that's done, that's done. My pipes are, are cleaned. All shaved out. Uh, the heads, like I said once. The, my headers are also done. I will probably drill a little hole in Put a nail in there. Looks cool. Or maybe put a little photo etch. I don't know yet. Maybe leave it like that. We'll see. It'll be nice. Uh, what I'm working on right now is the um, rear suspension. I came up with this, which fits the wheel pro properly. So I, I, can, I have to stay with this part here. But the rest of the part... I was looking when I put the frame on. Let me get this on for you. Little like this, like that. This is the ori original piece that goes with it. And actually, I don't like it. I've added a screw there so that because this is old and it's crooked a little, so it's going to hold it down when I tie it down. But I still need to work on this part. So this is what I came up with. I took this off. I've added a little piece right here at the end. I drilled some little holes. And I found these parts. As you can see, there are little holes in there. Little pins on this one. So. What I did is went like this. I drilled the perfect hole, and voila! This is what it's going to be looking like. Now I'm okay with the both side, but I still have a dilemma. What do I put in here? 
So I got these two. This one is really cool and fits well on underneath. Or I go with this one here. And as you can see, there's like two little washers on each side. So that would help me out cut this part and keep only the center part. And then adjust these two little parts to this little part right here, where you see the half moon underneath. So this would be exactly at the right place. So this is where I'm playing today. And um, I got this uh, in, my, I came back to my old shop. So I've added a new screen today to plug it with the old laptop to be able to paint. And to have all my stuff around, be able to take some pictures and make a little video for you guys easier on my phone. All I got to do now is connect the wire, put this up, and let you guys enjoy a new Lynn's Hot Rod Speed Shop. So stay tuned for the truck. Shouldn't be long. A new update will come very soon. Peace out, Nappy Lobby. Happy UP and UP hobby. Have a great time building, guys. Mark saying peace.